you want to be an engineer. You're going to need to learn some mathematics. Let me tell you why. Electrical engineers need math to analyze electrical circuits and solve complex electromagnetic problems. Civil engineers need math for the structural analysis of buildings and bridges. Mechanical engineers need math to analyze the fluid flows in ventilation systems around cars and around airplanes. Computer engineers need math in machine learning and big data for developing self-driving cars and for speech recognition. Geoengineers need math to study climate change, predict the weather, or the path of a hurricane. Bioengineers need math to study immunology, cell biology, and genomics. All engineers need to build a solid foundation in mathematics. In the capstone course of Mathematics for Engineers, you'll compute the fluid flow around the cylinder. You'll need vector calculus to understand and manipulate the Navier-Stokes equations. You'll need matrix algebra to solve these equations using a finite difference method. You'll need differential equations to determine the time-evolving vorticity field. And you'll need numerical methods to write efficient MATLAB code. These are the four courses that form the core of my specialization. I promise you, you won't be bored along your mathematics journey. You'll watch me explain the mathematics as I lecture behind a light board where I can talk directly to you. And after each short video lecture, I'll give you a few problems to solve. And after each topic, I'll give you a practice quiz. And at the end of each week, I'll give you an assessed quiz. I'll guide you to write MATLAB code when you learn numerical methods. And to help you study, I'll provide you with a full set of lecture notes. If you want to become an outstanding engineer, you need to first prepare yourself by learning some basic mathematics. So join me in my specialization, mathematics for engineers. <laughs>